Okay, I think we can start. Good morning. Okay, can you hear me? Can you see the slide? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, so I think we can should continue. We already started chapter five. And last week I didn't give any at first video or asynchronous lecture because I feel uh, the, the part that I'm going to cover today will be uh, it's very is quite important because that is the main part of the uh, circuit design. Okay. Uh, we will somehow will be tested uh, on these two methods that we will be learning today. This one is the cascading method. All this we have learned last week. Okay, so we actually seeing about a uh, signal overlap in pneumatic. It, uh, it, it won't happen only in pneumatic. It will happen also in electronegative or hydro hydraulics. So anywhere can the signal overlap can happen. Okay, so we have seen there are three ways of uh, doing signal elimination. Okay, so to overcome signal overlap, uh, we are using a signal elimination technique. Okay, so last week we have seen about uh, using the idle return level, sorry, idle return uh, lever limit switch, or we call it as the arm roller switch. Yes, so bento macam tangan tu. So we are using that to signal elimination. Then we have another method called uh, cascading. So we have a cascading method that we will study today, uh, and also a step counter. So this uh, practically two different methods of doing signal elimination. Okay, uh, I just hope you all will. I try to understand this. Just the last exam, memang solan akan cakap. Okay, so try to design this uh, circuit using cascading method. Ataupun design the circuit using step counter method. So if in the question it mentions specifically, uh, you need to do it lah, specifically. So before this, we have seen about the classical way of designing circuit. Sebab tu dalam lab pun kita buat idle return semua tu. That will we call it as cascade, uh, as classical method. Okay, so today we will see what is cascading method and also step counter method. Uh, yang ni kita tengoklah classical method. Okay, all these are classical method. Okay, so today we will enter to cascading method. Okay, kita akan belajar cascading method uh, and also the step counter method. Okay, cara nak design ni, dia ada few steps that we need to follow. Okay, so we need to follow. Okay, first kita tengok cascading method. Okay, cascading. Cascading maksudnya a series of stages in which the output of one stage is the input of the next stage. Itu yang maksudnya cascade. You ada banyak-banyak proses. Proses 1, proses 2, proses 3. Uh, output of process 1 jadi input kepada proses 2. Uh, so output of process 2 become input for uh, process 3. Uh, so that is what we call as cascading. Okay, so uh, semua macam lah. Okay, so you can see all the steps here. Uh, I prefer to show in the example. Okay, so ni dia tulis dalam wording form. Okay, so these are the cascading method. You nampak macam uh, a lot of stuff, but it's actually uh, Quite simple. Okay, so development of cascade stage. The group one, group two, group three. So we do we practically dividing 
the whole circuit into two or three groups. Okay, any single stage. Allow one stage, the other dual group. If two stage, the other three group. Uh, so uh, we are based on the uh, valve number of valve. Any kita pangi as uh, group changing valve. Just one valve, you have two states. So you can use to control two groups, group one and group two. Uh, so kalau you buat macam ni, you can control three groups. Okay, one, first group, uh, this the second group, yang dua ni adalah third group. Okay, so you can control three groups. Uh, yang ni adalah three stages. Three stages can control four groups. Four groups, group one, uh, group group two, three, and group four. So we control four groups. So but uh, for your level, so maximum we test until three groups. What's uh, the name the two are group changing one. We, we won't go until three stages. Tapi boleh pergi. Ha, boleh pergi. So in industry world, I think it's all normal lah. So you can have uh, as many stages as you want. As long as you know how to design. Okay, demonstration of cascading method. Okay, in order to develop control circuitry for multi-cylinder application, as done before in classical method, it is necessary to draw the motion diagram. Okay, any angle to that motion diagram. Uh, so, kalau you ta, to look at motion diagram, so it will be a bit hard for you to visualize. Yes, because you want to understand the sequence of actuation in various signal input. So, dalam motion diagram, you have the output uh, A plus, B plus, A minus, B minus, and two, and also the switches and sensors involved. A kecil. A0, A1, A2, uh, B0, B1. If you involve three cylinders, then you will have more. The motion diagram represents status of cylinder position, whether extended or retracted in a particular state. So, step one, write the statement of the problem. So, uh, how you want to do cascading method? Follow just step by step. Uh, don't skip. Allow skip to so the you I can start lah in between. Okay. So step one, write the statement of the problem. Statement to totally list simple. Here for cylinder A extend and bring um, brings under stamping station where cylinder B is located. Now uh, cylinder cylinder ni dia akan extend. Extend sampai uh, position of cylinder B. Cylinder B then extend stem the job. Cylinder A then return back only when cylinder B is fully retracted. Maksudnya, from this statement, you know the process is A plus, B plus, B minus, A minus. So, ayat-ayat ni lah. You need to know how to interpret. Okay, the cylinder A can return only. So, what's the other condition? Okay. And B minus fully, then only A minus. Okay. So, that's the first step. Second step, draw the positional layout. And positional layout is a 2D. 2D of the system. Okay. So, you have uh, cylinder A for clamping and cylinder B for stamping. Step three. Uh, so you try to represent in a notational form. Notational form I dub bagita. So in the A advancing. Meaning in the A extend, you notational form is A plus. Okay, so you see for this sequence, what will be the sequence? So given sequence for clamping and stepping is. A plus, B plus, B minus, A minus. 
Okay, different different application uh, yang notational form ataupun sequence ni berubah. Okay, so it can be a plus, a minus, b plus, b minus, ataupun a plus, b plus, b plus, a minus, b minus. So depend lah. So tengok uh, uh, sequence apa yang dia bagi. Okay, then you determine this. Once you determine this, then you draw the displacement step. Okay, cylinder A extend, cylinder B extend, B retract, A retract. So totally you have uh, four steps. Step one, two, three, four. Then step five. Step five is going back to the uh, starting. Okay, so this is your step four. Step five, draw the displacement time diagram. So, kalau ada uh, the involved time, so better to draw. Okay, so, uh, so just begin dengan T. So, time one, time two, time three, time four, and time five. Go back. Okay, yeah, because sometimes the circuit will have like that time delay so based on the time delay size kalau the displacement time delay okay, step 6 baru you masuk ke uh, drawing the pneumatic circuit ni okay, tadi tu kita kumpul info okay, so yeah, we determine first what are the input no. the input signal yang distance rule lah, ada berapa distance rule okay, first uh, A0 A1 uh, kecil lah, A, A0 smaller A0 uh, A1, B0, B1 so I suggest untuk cylinder follow the cylinder uh, A, uh, if A kita sini pun A uh, A0, A0 meaning is at the ohm position See, yeah, one maksudnya di extend the position. So, senang. Senang extend. Okay. Then output signal. The forward motion of cylinder A, A plus. Return A minus, B plus, B minus. Then, using the displacement type diagram, link input signal and output signal. So, tadi kita dah buat displacement at time or step diagram so try to include all this input and output in that uh, sequence okay so you tahu lah so a plus action generate sensor signal a1 which is used for b plus motion maksudnya in the a extend fully dia kena dekat uh, limit switch a1 b plus akan start so you bought all the sequences. So I I prefer instead of writing machani, just write in this. Yeah, siani maybe uh, you neglect to do, tapi uh, this thing. So siani dia ada change group. Siani kita dah belajar lagi. Okay, so you try to include. Include all the switching. They yeah, actually the kasini cylinder A extend uh, trigger A1, uh, so A1 on, uh, so B plus. Uh, the kasini dia ada group changing valve. Uh, yang I begitu tadi lah. Tapi nanti kita tengok macam mana nak buat. Okay, then cylinder B retract uh, will activate B0. Then cylinder A uh, retract. Then, as in the return, start A0. Then, they start by okay. So, now come to step 7. We draw the power circuit. Okay. So, uh, macam mana nak buat group changing? Macam mana nak determine groups? Okay, boleh baca dekat sini. Okay, uh, divide the given circuit into groups. Groups should 
be done such that there is no signal conflict. Uh, so, but cascading method is mainly to eliminate signal uh, the function there. So previously, we have seen classical way. Classical way using the idle return roller valve. Uh, then, we have the step counter method to eliminate signal overlap. Then, we have the step counter method. Okay, so, uh, the main idea is you don't want any signal conflict. So, in order for you not to have signal conflict, you don't put A plus dengan A minus dalam same group. Kalau you put A plus dengan A minus, your valve will not uh, know which one to decide. But dua dua side active. So simply don't put A plus and A minus in same group. Similarly, B plus and B minus should not be put in the same group. In other words, A plus and A minus should belong to different group to avoid signal. Uh, so maksudnya dekat sini, kita ada A plus, B plus, B minus, A minus. So, A plus uh, dengan B plus, uh, sorry, A plus dengan A minus, don't put in the same group. So, meaning A plus uh, group 1, uh, A minus group 2. So, similarly, B plus and B minus, different group. At the end, you dapat macam ni. So, if you want to make it three groups, boleh juga. As long you meet this condition. Maybe A plus, B plus, you put in group one. Uh, B minus group two. Uh, then A, A minus group three. Boleh juga. But I always will encourage to uh, do like this. Unless the question bagi tahu, uh, you must uh, use three groups. Uh, then you boleh pecah macam tu. As long you don't put all the... Same alphabet in the same group. Now you put same group, uh, they can cause signal conflict. Okay, so that's uh, the first part. First part, you put a group, group one and group two. Uh, then second one, uh, you determine berapa banyak group changing one uh, valve diperlukan. Okay, so the formula is number of groups minus one. Uh, so, dekat sini ada berapa group? Ada berapa group dekat sini? Ini one? Two. Two. So, group one and group two. So, group changing valve yang diperlukan adalah two minus one. Equals to one. Okay, so in our example, we have two groups. So, we need one group changing valve. To connect the group changing one, I follow uh, the design that. Okay. So far, the other solution. So far, we found. Yeah, this I can give video. This is lah. Ah, memang I have YouTube video on this. So I can give you the cascading method and also a step counter method, separate videos. So you will find better lah. So you can uh, listen back. So, ada, ada soalan so far? A bit like too fast. Any question? Yeah. So, kalau group 1 tu, A plus B minus boleh tak? A plus B minus boleh? As long not same alphabet. Okay, sir. Uh, tapi, uh, selalunya, if the question tak bagi tahu apa-apa, I will put all positive in one group or all negative in one group. Uh, tapi you boleh juga A plus, B minus in one group, uh, B plus and A minus in one another group. As long fulfill this condition. So nanti uh, you boleh try lah. I can bagi, it's not assignment, maybe a tutorial lah, tutorial question today uh, on this. So you try to do, try to do practice. Uh, so different, different groups. So you took a uh, different group. Uh, you try to understand how actually you, you are designing. Okay, thank you uh, for the question. Any other question?
the cascading method, as long as you follow all the steps and you understand each step, you suppose no problem in designing. Students, previous students also, I think they prefer cascading method. And so, Bob, for, for them, they say less confusing compared to step counter. But I personally prefer step counter method because even though the number much are complicated, but it's actually very straightforward. Okay, so uh, any question before we continue? I think it's at uh, Sampai uh, uh, Ujo of the step. After this, they can also design the roof. Yes, I think uh, I will continue. Yeah. So, uh, draw the circuit, uh, draw the power circuit. Yani, uh, you neglect to loop. Okay. Ah, so I, no man, I explain I need to do. Think of much only the board group changing. Okay, so you have to do a line. The, this is like electrical line. La. Uh, so you have to do a power line. Okay, so if you trigger the left hand side, so you bagi input the uh, So if I signal is given to directional control valve. Okay, so any actually directional control valve la 5 over 2. Okay, uh, since the function is to change group between group 1 and group 2, kita panggil dia GCV ataupun group changing valve. If signal I is given on the left hand side, they can choose bagian, bagian kiri. Okay, uh, so they can also they can activate group 1. That is me. Hello, signal delivery yeah, dari kanan. Okay. It will choose the right hand side. The right hand side, they the bagi input the casting. And group 2 will be. They can add the power. Lah. Yeah, and group 1 need it, they can add the power. So, like that. So, that is how the group is changed. So, kalau you, in the sequence, you put the group change, uh, you just activate. Lah. With the supply supply. Okay, so to start designing, apa yang you kena buat? You lukis dulu yang ni. Okay, kalau ada dua silinder, draw two cylinders. Okay, cylinder A and cylinder B. Ah, uh, cylinder tu di punya direction control valve. Either four over two or five over two. Yang ni macam biasa lah. Macam design biasa. So, the case yang ni, uh, then uh, it has uh, four switches. A0, A1, and distance rule lah. Uh, B0, B1. Okay, then it connect to the unactuated position. Okay, kemudian dia ada dua pilot input for port 14 and port 12. And dua-dua pun sama. Okay, so the case yang ni, basic. Okay, so once you draw this, Nah, ini adalah uh, the full circuit lah. Okay, tadi kita lukis yang ni. Bagian ni dengan bagian ni. Okay, then you lukis this to it depends lah berapa banyak group. So, dua group dan ada satu group changing wall. Saya tunjuk yang ni dulu lah. Nanti baru saya tunjuk step by step. Then, uh, Location of all the switches and the input, uh, they depends on the points. Okay, so, last kali, you can see the whole circuit uh, like this. Okay. So, compared to the normal circuit yang you design, so this will be like additional steps. Lah. But it's actually to eliminate signal overlap. Okay, so, kalau you design macam ni, you design betul, you won't have a signal overlap. Because it will specifically control the input. Okay, so kita tengok example. Okay, uh, maybe we can continue, start counter dulu. Okay, 
okay we'll see one example so example dia so boleh baca selalunya dalam ujian dia bagi macam ni okay so you know, pneumatic actuated drilling machine contain of two DAC uh, so ada dua DAC so double acting cylinder so cylinder A and cylinder B when the workpiece is located at its position cylinder A will clamp the workspace uh, maksudnya you letak bahan kerja dekat sini so cylinder A will hold that then the drilling process is started where the spindle is controlled by cylinder B After finish drilling, cylinder B will return to the initial position. So, maksudnya, if they program, put down, the B extend, drill, atas balik, then cylinder B, atas balik. Okay, so what will be the sequence? What is the sequence for this? Apa sequence untuk application ni? Ya, Mama Amirul nak check out, okay? plus B minus B plus B minus A minus. Yes, so A plus B plus B minus A minus. Okay, sama macam tadi lah. Yeah. So you can follow the steps. But I prefer the one like you did earlier lah. One step two then. I go to. Uh, define motion A plus B plus B minus A minus groups. So then, second, group pun kita pecah. Okay, so maybe A plus B plus satu group, B minus A minus satu group. Okay, then we have a limit switch. Okay, so uh, untuk starting, you can ada start button and also A0 active. And then, A plus, then uh, start button, in the A akan accent, kena dekat A1, will activate B plus. And then, uh, line dekat sini, actually, group changing. We are changing the group. So, study uh, A plus and B plus in one group. So it will be on the left hand side, B minus and A minus on the right hand side. Okay, so group changing, then as uh, B minus will start, activate B0, and then A minus activate A0. Okay, so number of connecting lines, okay, number of groups. Okay, group ada dua. Okay, group satu dengan group dua. So, number of reversing valve ataupun group changing valve. Number of groups minus one. So, two minus one sama dengan satu. So, draw the basic circuit. Okay, so, location ni, location ni, dua cylinder. So, this is the valve for cylinder A, valve for cylinder B. Then you have a dual connecting line. Yeah, you follow number of group. So group, then group changing one. We are need to connect the star to the unexpected position. Okay, so connect like this. Kalau dia dia macam overlap dengan any power line, ah, you look at macam ni, black. Show that. Then there, there is not connection, no connection. Later we will assume that ni dia macam sambung lah. Kalau dia sambung dia akan jadi short circuit. So always you will draw like this, kulat. Okay, so this is the basic circuit. Okay, so one reversing valve. Okay, then we start a sequence one. Okay, A plus. Okay, untuk A plus. You can add a stop button dengan A0. Both active. So, you start. So, you want to activate group 1. Yang atas ni group 1. Dan bawah ni group 2. Okay, unless you state otherwise lah. G1. G1, selalunya kita tak biarkan macam ni. 
kita akan tulis sini G1, G2. Uh, group 1, Group 2. Okay, so, I assume from here uh, that yang atas ni adalah Group 1. Okay, so, to start sequence A0, you perlukan stop start button and also A0. Uh, A0 active lah. Okay, so, you, you put your start button here, push button. Then A0, A0 deactive. Ha, yang ni dia simbol ni silap supposed to be the, the other side the right hand side the left hand side yang ni dia lukis dekat sini okay, so simbol ni silap okay, kalau kalau macam ni dia tak ada uh, the dinding ni ok so we try to draw it correct ok then okay, dia akan masuk ke sini we go change to group and Row 1 will be active and dekat sini you sambung. Sebab you nak print the A extend, so you just bagi input dekat sini. So all this line is connected and your cylinder will do A plus. So A akan mula extend. You mula extend, kena dekat A1. Okay, go to the next sequence. So you want uh, the next sequence is B plus. So for that, you perlukan A1. A1 active. So yang ni you biarkan. Okay. Then you want A, uh, B plus. B plus some uh, thin group. So you connect dekat sini. A1. A1. So yang ni dia tak ada rinding dah. So go back to this. Sebab dia dah lepas. Yang ni dia maybe ada sedikit problem lah. Okay. Sebab tak ada dinding lah dekat sini Ada dinding dekat sini And it has to be on the left hand side okay. So kalau you bagi input ini Your cylinder B will start to okay. so, It will fulfill B plus Then B minus So you want B minus to happen Okay. So, untuk B minus weapon, you need to do uh, group changing. Group changing maksudnya sekarang kena active this side. So, B minus you put this side. Okay. So, B minus will change the group. Sekarang tengok, dia, dia connect dekat sini. Then, kita pergi ke sini. So, your cylinder B minus, uh, cylinder B will retract. Okay, try. Balik ke sini. So, B0 active. Final. So, B0 will activate A minus. Okay, letak dekat sini. Same line. Okay, so, yang ni actually dia dah padam lah. Dah extra line tu. Extra line uh, dekat belakang ni. Dengan belakang ni. Yang extra tu dia dah padam. Kalau tu dia jadi macam ni. Okay, but I always encourage kalau macam ni, you nampak macam nampak macam complicated sangat kan. So, better to retain the two lines. Biarkan the line tu. So, that you will understand, okay, so this one is group one and this is group. Okay, so this is how and the cascading way of designing a circuit. So, this is how yang ni circuit ni actually design bukannya gunakan field change. So we use uh, automation studio, another software. Sebab tu dia punya simbol tu dia macam lain sikit. Okay, so any questions? Boleh boleh faham? Boleh faham? So far. Persoalan ke? Example 5.4. No question. Still boleh follow. Thank you, sir. Anyone there? Boleh, sir. Boleh, sir. Boleh. Yes, sir.
Okay, so we will see another example. Uh, yang ni digunakan tiga silinder. Okay, silinder A, B and C. Okay, so normally in, your, in the exam, dia akan ada dua silinder ataupun tiga silinder. Uh, we won't have a four silinder lah. Uh, so maximum until tiga silinder. Okay, so you have a operation here. Part one is clamp. Part is clamp. Position. As pushes the, the part. The clamp is released. Part is removed from the table. Uh, yang ni dia ada feed, feeder juga. Ada gambar ke tak? Uh, so dia maksudnya dia letak part tu. Part tu clamp. Then uh, dia buat operation. Then one more cylinder. Cylinder C. Dia akan remove the part from the table. Dia akan push dia keluar lah. Ke bin ke. Uh, so application can be anything. So try to understand how the application work first. Uh, baru you decide. So, uh, okay untuk this this operation. Uh, you press the start button. So A plus B plus. Uh, B minus A minus C plus C minus. Okay, so sequence dia macam ni. Okay so cascading. So you form groups. Okay, so this operation uh, break it down into groups. Uh, so macam I bagi tata di lah. So A plus B plus. Uh, yang, yang ni group 1. Uh, B minus A minus C plus. B group 2. Then. Then uh, 3 C minus. So, boleh juga. As long, the same alphabet not in the, in the group. In the same group. Boleh tengok. Semua ni dia berlain. Each group tak ada symbol uh, alphabet lain. Yeah, alphabet yang sama. Okay, merge group 3 yeah, with group 1. Uh, so group 3 you nak letak dekat sini pun boleh A plus B plus C minus Boleh juga uh, So but good practice uh, Saya selalu buat A plus B plus C plus Dalam satu group So all the plus operation in one group Minus operation in another group uh, So condition ni you boleh decide If the question say uh, Gunakan tiga group Baru you buat macam ni Okay. Listen by any, I'm malas nak baca. But I think I prefer the steps. Uh, tapi sama jugalah benda yang you kena buat. So you need to determine how many walls, group changing walls, uh, how many groups. So what are the inputs, what are the outputs. Uh, then uh, sequence. So you bought motion diagram. Yeah, tapi dia tulis lah dekat sini So I prefer Better you all start buat Cara yang tadi uh, Step 1, step 2, step 3 So you pun Takkan jump step lah uh, So you dah tahu Okay so buat macam ni uh, So straight up, that's very straightforward Ini dia dah bagi terus lah Dia tak buat one by one Boleh tengok, so, dia letak start button dekat atas. Selalunya start button kita letak dekat bawah. Uh, dia letak dekat atas terus. Boleh juga. Okay. So C1, and this is the final one. Uh, C1 <laughs> uh, active means uh, is already written. Cylinder C already written. So meaning one sequence the complete. Uh, so then you press push button, cylinder A akan extend, yeah, A2. A2 akan extend, uh, dia ada group changing function lah dekat sini. Eh sorry, okay. Yang ni dia G1 dekat bawah, G2 dekat atas. Uh, so all these are in the same group. Uh, sebab tu I... Always encourage the student um, Try to put G1 on top 
Selalu ni kita tengok dari atas kan. Uh, even all the sequence pun kita tengok dari atas. Uh, kita akan draw slender dulu. So G1 dekat atas, G2 dekat bawah. So uh, that's a, the good practice lah. Uh, but dekat sini dia G1 dekat bawah, G2 dekat atas. But it's actually doesn't matter lah as long as you tulis. Jangan biarkan kosong macam ni. Uh, kalau you biarkan kosong, uh, we also we need to like check one by one. Uh, so normally the examiners, uh, if you give them more work, they will minus mark. And this a shock. So better to uh, write it down. Okay, so maybe later I will give one uh, tutorial question. And then we will discuss lah. Uh, I will show my answer also. Uh, maybe during our discussion of the tutorial. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe next week, since kita dah habiskan dua lab, lab one and lab two, maybe next week kita akan buat tutorial. We'll try to do tutorial because I, I think after that, you all also need to prepare for your midterm. So I think tutorial will be good lah for you. You also can ask questions. And I also can uh, discuss some of the important questions for your preparation. Okay, so uh, try to analyze this. I think suppose uh, they follow the sequence yang ada lah. So I think what the ni, so like wait and run, uh, extend A2, so A2 the Kasini. Give input, your cylinder B will extend, wait B2, B2 the other the Kasini. We will change the group. Group. We'll go to group two. Connected. Connected state. Ada letter B2 dekat sini. Slender B will retract. Activate B1. B1 ada dekat sini. And the A. Right. Kena dekat A1. A1 will send cylinder C. Kena dekat C2. C2 will change the group. And ini dia connect straight. Ini dekat sini. So I think uh, this circuit kita follow good practice lah. Walaupun circuit ni function, I always uh, like uh, in my design all this push button dengan ni saya letak dekat bawah. Okay, only the the one the roller that changing the group I will put down here. Okay, together with the starting. Yang lain tu I akan letak dekat atas. As much as possible above the line, uh, so that you boleh tahu okay yang bawah ni dia uh, either to start the circuit or change the, the group changing wall. Yang atas ni to control the cylinder. So uh, avoid putting like this start the atas. Walaupun boleh, tapi dia you can interpret. Okay, you supposed to simplify the circuit. Uh, tapi you complicate it by making other people hard to understand. Then. So any question? You can see this uh, automation studio view. Okay. So I think I have covered uh, cascading method. So if you have any question, we will be done. Bagian ni important eh, your test or exam or assignment. So memang uh, you akan you akan ditanya suruh design. Okay, so, uh, so if no questions, we can tick five first. Now is eight forty nine. Kita akan start at eight fifty five.
Okay, so the line in between you have any question you can ask. And then uh, we will masuk to step counter method. The video untuk cascading method and step counter method I will give. Memang video tu dia banyak views. But important and also you need to follow steps. So you pun boleh, boleh dengar lah. Okay. okay, so we'll take five. You know, you can ask any question while we are waiting.
Okay, we will start again. Okay, now we are entering to the second method. The step counter method. Okay, so can you hear? Yeah, are you back? Can I continue? No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You for the response. Okay, step counter method. Okay, so this is another method. Okay, so like I said earlier, uh, cascading method uh, is uh, follow the steps. Okay, so similarly, step counter method so also we have few steps, but it will look a bit complicated. Nampa macam complicated, uh, but it is actually not. Yes, okay, so the good thing is it's not. Uh, so you, uh, you as a student, you are required to understand both. Do a method. So, about soalan akan tanya, design the pneumatic circuit using cascading method. Okay, or using step counter method. And uh, this is not only for pneumatic. It can be used in electro pneumatic. It can be used in hydraulics. Principle is sama. Tapi you only will learn this in under the pneumatic. Tapi I think a uh, few years back also I pernah bagi soalan. Okay, design the hydraulic circuit using step counter method. Boleh juga. So, uh, you need to know lah. Okay, so step counter method is designed to prevent the occurrence of opposite signal for two or more slender movement. So, meaning sama lah, to avoid signal conflict. The use of counting module is very important in step counter circuit. Okay. So, tadi, uh, the uniqueness of cascading method they are the group changing one you change between groups okay when so step counter method they are the satu yang kita panggil as counter counting model module okay, counter counting module so what is step counter kan ataupun i panggil dia step counter model module okay module uh, so each step counting modular Contains two valve, namely pneumatic injector three over two valve and N valve. The so, uh, step counter module too, they are the two valve. Okay, one is three over two valve and also N valve. They, they are sekali lah dalam satu. Okay. I'll show you. Uh, so, they can ada macam ni. They can arrangement okay so this is three over two valve and n valve so n valve ni dia bagi input the guys ni okay so when you arrange the valve in this sequence uh, you can add enough input then you will utilize okay so input one input two input three four five and six and the other one is okay so the is connected like this, but the dot the cat, you know. Okay, so this is a step counting module. Okay, so you must complete the step counter module as shown in the figure below so that not to be confused with construction of the step counter. Okay, so uh, you will think on uh, all the six input need that you manage. Okay, so I think I explained this better in video video yang saya akan bagi nanti okay so please go and check the video i try to learn okay one by one so number one signal from the previous sequence yeah so any pun dia ada sequence sequence maksudnya a plus b plus uh, so that's that's what we call sequence uh, yeah ni deconnected the previous sequence uh, yeah ni from the last step okay, number three into direction control valve four uh, to three over two so the other lah enam enam ni enam ni we will see later 
Okay, so we should be entered to the example. Okay, uh, sequence. So near the sequence there, sum. Okay, so a plus b plus b minus and a minus. So it requires two cylinder a and b. Second, you need to ensure the number of movement to determine the number of step counter modules required. Example, ah, so unto case ni unto step counter, it will follow each notation. Ah, so the case ni ada berapa notation? Apa boleh bagi tahu? How many notations or sequence are here? Oh, so A plus, B plus, B minus, A minus. Ada empat sequence. So, for your design, you require four step counter modules. Four modules macam ni. Dalam your circuit. Okay. So, to connect the circuit from the module to the power valve, you need to follow the steps. Okay. Uh, the first module is connected to A1. Yang ni sepatutnya A1 yang kecil lah. Okay, so this is not. Okay, yang ni bukan I, right? Okay. So, nah, yang ni macam tadi lah. So, all the, the sequence will be activated based on the distance rule. Upon the limit switch. Uh, so this is also the sequencing. So A0 is connected to start valve ST and then connected to valve N of module 1. Okay. You are linking the limit switches and push button to the modules. Okay, so this this is the uh, step counter circuit. So, kalau you tengok ada, uh, so this is module one. Okay, so module one. So, tadi kita tengok ada three over two and also n. Okay, so this is module one, module two, module three and module four. Okay, so kenapa saya bagi tahu yang ni dia senang? Sebab uh, yang ni, you just, the connection will be the same. So if you see here, uh, this is connected to this, this is connected to this, this is connected to this. Uh, yang ni connected to this, yang ni connected to this, yang ni connected to this. Okay. So practically all the connection, you tak perlu fikir. So you tak perlu fikir, you already know this, this port, will be connected to the previous one. So, Yani is connected to the previous one. So, all you know. Okay, so, A, B plus, this is connected to this wall. B minus, uh, so, Yani, yani you tahu lah. So, kalau you na the advance, so, you need to connect it to the left side. Baru, in the B, extend. So, B, Yani, since the step counter module belongs to B plus, uh, you're going to connect it to the correct side. Yeah, any B minus connected to this side. Uh, A minus, they connected to this side. Uh, for, to retract. A plus to this side. Uh, so, masing masing you, uh, you know where to connect. Uh, walaupun you are the 6 input. And for 4 modules, you have 24 inputs. But mostly inputs, you already know where to connect. Sebab tu, saya cakap yang ni lagi senang. Walaupun dia nampak macam complicated. Okay. So, all this, you pun tak perlu fikir. 
So you just need to connect it to the respective. So you need to the arrange based on the sequence. So until A plus, so the condition is you need to have a push button and also A0. So you connect through the question A. So A plus the extend A1. A1, so you let the question A1, uh, then A1 will activate uh, B. So A1, this sequence is up here. A plus B plus B minus A minus. Okay, so A1. A1, then B minus. A plus B plus B minus A minus. Uh, so, untuk that, uh, uh, this is the condition. Lah. So, condition. Okay, so, string the B extend. Dikenal dekat B1. Uh, B1, you letak dekat sini. So, B1 retract. Uh, so, B0 active, you letak dekat sini. So, it's all like from the left to the right. Okay, tak boleh faham yang ni. How it, it function. So, nanti waktu you design tu, you akan nampak lah. Uh, maybe sekarang you akan nampak sangat. Okay, so any questions on this? Any question? Uh, tengok macam mana dia function. So it will activate all the Any question? Boleh, boleh, boleh faham? Or you want to see another example? Another example, sir. Example 5.7. Ah, uh, yang ni dia gunakan tiga, uh, tiga silinder. Silinder A, B, and C. So the sequence is given A plus B plus C plus C minus B minus A minus. Okay, so you you need so based on this you tahu dia ada enam sequence and you need to use six step counter modules. Okay. And you have uh, six limit switches. Okay. Each cylinder ada dua. A1, B1, B1 uh, B, A1, uh, A0, A1, uh, B0, B1, and C0, C1. Ada enam limit switch. So you just need to connect it to, uh, so you can tahu lah. Uh, first module is connected to A1. I can be be one. Uh, is this based on the sequence? So this is uh, based on the modules. You are connected to the respective module. So A0 and start button is connected to module 1. So A1 to module 2. Uh, B1 to module 3. C1 to module 4. C0 to module 5. And B0 to module 6. Okay, so this is how the sequence. Okay, so just the casino di tatulis lah. So this uh, this is supposed to be A plus B plus C plus C minus uh, B minus A minus. Yes, and here they are using four over two. Boleh juga. So practically, you draw the circuit, uh, the the cylinders, and the limit switches. Okay, and the valve to control the cylinder. Any semua sama. Okay, then you draw six modules. Okay, so module 1, module 2, module 3, module 4, module 5, module 6. Okay, then you connect it to the respective condition. Okay, so if you want a sequence A plus to happen, you need to 
uh, F push button and also A0 active. Okay, yani you somehow detect the first module. Uh, then, yani they extend. So condition, yani adalah B plus. So condition for B plus is A1. A1. So you connect here. So this is C plus. Condition for C plus is uh, cylinder B fully extend. So B1 here. So C1, C0 and B0. Okay, so the rest is is connected uh, to the previous or uh, the previous uh, module. Okay, so any question? I, I expect uh, more question for this lah. If you have any question, please ask. So basically, sir, the 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 um, the arrangement is the same. Just the sequence. Ah, you just follow the sequence. Up. You you already determine the sequence, and, and the rest will thing. Yes, okay, so, Yani, they all uh, all the modules arrangement is summer. So it's connected to the previous uh, modules. So here you just need to connect it to the respective side. Uh, if A plus, you need to connect it to the left hand side. If not, if you connect to the right hand side, it's for the cylinder to retract. So if A plus, you need to connect it to the left hand side. Uh, so so here A plus uh, is connected to the first valve. Uh, left hand side b plus to the second valve left hand side uh, c plus is connected to the third, third valve left hand side so if positive it must be connected to the left hand side uh, if uh, negative connected to the uh, right hand side plus uh, negative onto retract right. okay. so the rest uh, yani is a condition for the sequence to happen. So I think I explained clearly in the video. Uh, so you, I encourage you all to watch the video. I will do step by step. Okay, so any other question? Okay, we already reached the end of the slide. Okay, color this one, this Tanya. This one is this one. Is this one farm. This one at least has a sequence, so I took the house. Yeah, I think uh, for me, I prefer this. About we save a lot of time, so especially what to exam. So about you have to a lot of stuff. Ah, uh, memang dah follow the sequence. Macam tadi cascading, you can tahu okay, ani or uh, is uh, the the valve will be in the other side. I need the echo there that is left to the right. Follow the sequence. So at this point, yeah, there's some someone asking on the mic, Tadi. That is that. That is what. That is what. Okay, so kalau tadi soalan, so I think we we have come to the end of the chapter five. Uh, I akan bagi dua question tutorial on this. Okay, I think I will give two for. Saya belum bagi assignment kan? Alright, okay, okay. Maybe I will give it as an assignment, but kita akan discuss waktu tutorial juga lah. Uh, so uh, let you all do and submit. I think I got give one assignment before this. I'm gonna check by it. Okay, so I will give. So you try this, then uh, we will discuss further. Okay, and I will give you the video also. Okay, so if no questions, I think we can dismiss. So tomorrow at the lab uh, for the final group. So presentation. So please present. Uh, and uh, tomorrow can I submit lab module? Okay, so 
please uh, don't forget is sama macam last week to uh, submit to your friends the representative uh, representative submit the card uh, the the box uh, submit the card like okay so if no questions i think uh, we will dismiss early today okay so thank you thank you sir